dier te word wat God wil hee ek moet wees, moet ek vry kom van die kettings van wat mense gesê het, ek moet wees, wie en hoe God is, en wat vir hom moendlik is. As ek en jy nou vandag so stil word, en terugkyk oor die pad waarmee ons gekom het met hierdie dagstukkies, is daar twee dinge wat vir my baie sterk uitstaan. Die eerste ding is, dat ek en jy moet verstaan, dat ek en jy hier is vir God, en hy is nie daar vir ons nie. Die ander ding wat vir my baie duidelik uitstaan, is juist hierdie ding van, kind van God wees. Die radikaliteit daarvan, die andersheid, die verskil tis in een worm lewe, en een skoenlapper lewe. Hierdie verhaalkie wat ek nou vir jou gaan lees, illustreer dit so mooi, luister mooi daarna. There once was a man named George Thomas, pastor in a small New England town. One Easter Sunday morning, he came to the church carrying a rusty, bent, old bird cage and set it by the pulpit. Eyebrows were raised and as if in response, Pastor Thomas began to speak. I was walking through town yesterday when I saw a young man coming toward me swinging this bird cage. On the bottom of the cage were three little wild birds shivering with cold and fright. I stopped the lad and asked, What do you have there, son? Oh, just some old birds, came the reply. What are you going to do with them? I asked. Take them home and have fun with them, he answered. I'm going to tease them and pull out their feathers to make them fight. I'm going to have a real good time. But my son, you are going to get tired of those birds sooner or later. What will you do then with them? Oh, I got some cats, said the little boy. They like birds and I'm going to feed them to the cats. The pastor was silent for a moment. How much do you want for those birds, sonny boy? <laughs> What do you mean, mister? You don't want these birds either. They're just plain old field birds. They don't sing. They ain't even pretty. How much? The pastor asked again. The boy sized up the pastor as if he were crazy and said, um, If you give me ten dollars, that will do. The pastor reached in his pocket and took out a ten dollar bill. He placed it in the boy's hand and in a dash the boy was gone. The pastor picked up the cage and gently carried it to the end of the alley where there was a tree and a grassy spot. Setting the cage down, he opened the door and by softly tapping the bars persuaded the birds out, setting them free. Well, that explained the empty bird cage on the pulpit. And then the pastor began to tell his story. One day, Satan and Jesus were having a conversation. Satan had just come from the Garden of Eden and he was gloating and boasting. Yes, sir, I just caught a world full of people down there. Set me a trap. Used bait I knew they couldn't resist. Got them all. So what are you going to do with them? Jesus asked. Satan replied, Oh, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to teach them how to marry and divorce each other how to hate and abuse each other, how to drink and smoke and curse. I'm going to teach them how to invent guns and bombs and kill each other. I'm really going to have fun. And what will you do when you are done with them? Jesus asked. Oh, I'll kill them, Satan glared proudly. How much do you want for them? Jesus asked. Oh, you don't want those people. They ain't no good. Why, you'll take them and they'll just hate you. They'll spit on you, curse you and kill you. You don't want those people. How much? Jesus asked again. Satan looked at Jesus and sneered. All your blood, tears and your life. Jesus said, done. Then he paid the price. The pastor picked up the cage and walked from the pulpit.